I've been asked to talk about four bottom lines. Four bottom lines as we do business. Doing business in such a way that it has a positive impact on many people and stakeholders, financially, socially, environmentally, and spiritually. That is also called the quadruple bottom line. Quadruple means something that has four parts, four elements, but they are, belong together. So you want to do business so it has an impact on people, which is good, align with God's purposes for businesses, be good stewards of the planet, and also make a profit. How did we arrive to the thinking about four bottom lines? Let me share a little bit my, my own personal journey. I'm from Sweden, Scandinavia. And my ancestors, they were Vikings. And they wore hats similar to this. And they did trade uh, even along the Silk Road in Central Asia. Well, they were maybe not the most moral of business people, but they were there. I worked in the Soviet Union in the communist world for many years and also in Central Asia. I went to Kazakhstan and also, of course, to Tajikistan. I came in the cold during the winter to Kyrgyzstan when the capital was still called Frunze. So this hat was actually good in winter time. And of course, I also came to the great country of Mongolia. In December 1991, the Soviet Union crumbled and the whole communist bloc from Albania to Mongolia was dismantled. During the communist times, private enterprise were not legal. It was looked down upon. But after that, of course, both people and societies and nations wondering, what are we going to do now? We had oligarchs, we had mafia, we had all kinds of uh, crazy businesses. And it was during that time in the early 90s that I and some other people started to think, what does it mean to do business for God and for people? for the Kazakhs, for the Tajiks, for the Mongolians, for the Uzbeks, for the Albanians, and so forth. So in the mid-90s, I started a process which led to the Central Asia Business Consultation, when we brought entrepreneurs and others together from around the world to meet with people in Central Asia to see what we could do practically to do business for God and for people in that region. And we also started to talk about what does it mean to be a Christian in business? So in 2002, I started a global think tank with some friends. And over the years, we've gathered more than 500 people from more than 50 nations talking through practically and from a biblical standpoint, what does it mean to shape your business? So it honors God and serves our nations. And we have produced about 30 different reports. We operate in over 20 different languages. Our material is also in Mongolian. And during these global conversations, the Kudropal bottom line appeared early on as a biblical concept. And it is about taking our Sunday talk into a Monday walk. Whatever we profess in church on Sunday, what we believe, what we stand for, what the Bible says, should also be the basis for our business practices on Monday. So we want to take our Sunday talk into a Monday business walk. This is beyond a few scattered Bible verses. Now we look at biblical principles, biblical values, biblical 
themes. And it's based on that that we have uh, learned on things on how to think business and do business in a godly way. So what does that mean? Well, let me give you some of the basics of business as mission. BAM, as in BAM 1, BAM 2, BAM 3, and BAM 4. One, there is one God and one Lord. Jesus is Lord. That's something that the church has confessed for 2,000 years. Jesus is Lord. If Jesus is Lord, he's Lord of all, or he's not Lord at all. If we profess Jesus as being Lord in church on Sunday, what does that mean for my business and the way I view my business and operate my business during the week? If Jesus is Lord, well, he is actually the owner of our business. And we need to listen to the owners. What does God want with our business? What is his purpose for my business? One, one Lord, Jesus is Lord, also over our businesses. Two, we are to love God and love our neighbors. It's this dual dimension as we do our lives, as we do business. So we want to shape our business in such a way that it honors God, but also serve the people around us. Three. There are three biblical mandates. And they apply to all Christians, not just to pastors, not just to business people. No, these are biblical values, mandates that applies to all of us as human beings and as followers of Jesus Christ. The first biblical mandate is called the creation mandate, sometimes the cultural mandate. And it's based on the first chapters of the Bible. God, the creator, who is creative, and he created good things, mainly in the physical arena, for himself and for others. He created in community for community. And we are created in God's image to be creative, to create in community for community, good products, good services. So doing business and being creative in business, is not just, oh, I guess, he or she is a business person. No, it's something deeply divine and deeply human and who we are as created in God's image. The creation mandate. The second mandate is the great commandment. Love God, love your neighbor. That's the important principle, as Jesus said. Love God. Yes, love our neighbor. Sure. What does that mean in business? Who is my neighbor as I do business? Well, we have a lot of neighbors. We may call them stakeholders in English. Of course, our customers and clients are our neighbors. Our staff, the owners, the board, the tax authorities, the community around us, even our competitors the church, the nation. How can we shape our businesses in such a way that it honors God and serves our neighbors, practically showing love to them? The third mandate is the Great Commission, that we are to make Christ known among all peoples. So we want to do business in such a way and operate in such a way that Christ can be seen in us. That he becomes known. 
among all peoples, among the Swedes, among the Mongolians, among all peoples. Now, the, culture, the creation mandate, the great commandment, and the great commission mandate. If you take these three and think through, what does that mean in business? Well, then you can end up with the quadruple bottom line, four bottom lines. We are created to be creative, to add value through work and creativity to our businesses, be good stewards also financially, so our businesses will make a profit, a good financial bottom line. We want to serve God and serve people, so people means we want to have a good social bottom line, caring for all kinds of neighbors and stakeholders. Thirdly, the third bottom line, we are to be good stewards of the planet, God's creation. Every business has an environmental impact. But we also need to think through how can we, in and through our businesses, solve environmental challenges. And we want to run our businesses in such a way that is God-honoring and when appropriate and possible, if invited, share about our faith, a spiritual bottom line. Another way of putting the four bottom lines in words uh, is the following. We are, through business, to serve people. Christ came to serve people. We are to serve people. Secondly, we are to align our businesses with God's purposes. Doing business as justice, doing business as shalom, doing business as loving your neighbor, doing business as reconciliation, applying biblical values to our business. Thirdly, we want to be good stewards of the planet. And fourthly, we need to make a profit. Profit is what keeps the business alive. But business do not exist to make a profit. My body is alive. I am alive because blood flows through my veins. Blood is essential for life to stay alive and thrive. But I don't exist for my blood. The blood makes it possible for me to live and to work and to enjoy life. Blood to the body is like what profit is to the business. Profit is necessary for the business to stay alive and thrive. But the business do not exist just to make a profit. It exists also to serve people, align with God's purposes, and be good steward of creation. And these are some of the things we learned in Central Asia. These are some of the things that now is applied on every continent in thousands of businesses, part of the global business as mission movement. Now, does this sound difficult? Maybe new? No. Maybe familiar, maybe it resonates with you. Now, it's important to realize this is an ongoing journey. Nobody has arrived. No business has achieved perfection on all four bottom lines. No. We're all on a journey with God and with one another. And I hope you will take this invitation to heart to join God, join other entrepreneurs in Mongolia and beyond, with other professionals as well, to see how can we shape our businesses so it has a positive impact financially, socially, environmentally, and spiritually for our staff, for our clients, for our communities, for Mongolia, for the world. It is a journey.
But as with every journey, if you want to go to Erdenet from Ulaanbaatar, it starts with getting up in the morning and get started and keep going. The same thing with the four bottom lines. Yes, it is an ongoing journey, but let's get started. Let's pray and work and think through, plan, operate and evaluate our businesses in such a way that it has a positive impact financially, socially, environmentally and spiritually to honor God and serve people. Welcome to the quadruple uh, bottom line journey and may God bless you.